We're going to be going through the manual muscle test for our supraspinatus muscle. So again, as our supraspinatus came out underneath the acromion and drops down onto the head of the humerus here, specifically on the greater tubercle and the superior facet, um, the major action that supraspinatus is going to do is abduction. Now, some references will say it also includes flexion, um, but for today, we're just going to be using abduction. So again, with an active range of motion component to start, I'm going to ask my person to abduct all the way up to 90 or just above. So if you can do that one more time by yourself. Excellent. So that is active. Now I'm going to take them about halfway through. So close to a 45 degree angle. We want to make sure that their arm is bent so they're not engaging any of the muscles of their arm, like triceps. I'm going to ask them to not let me move him. And I'm going to count down from five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to bring his arm back to his side. And finally, the concentric part, you're going to push up all the way up and you're going to win. Good. Excellent. So that concludes the three components of the manual muscle test for supraspinatus. All right, the last thing that we're going to do for our supraspinatus is a length. Now this is going to be pretty much exactly the same as the middle deltoid fiber. So again, we're going to ask a person to, if they're able to, put their hand in the small of their back. I'm going to stabilize on top of the shoulder so it doesn't allow for them to lean over in lateral flexion. And I'm going to try to pull down and draw the humerus a little bit towards their low back. So I'm grabbing just above the supracondylar ridges on the humerus, drawing inferiorly and a little bit medially. Excellent. 